First reaction. You guys like to rip on bitches or what? What'd you do? Got a call from State Patrol. Destroyed. Crashed. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be doing a little bit more riding, but it's gonna be a little bit different today. <laughs> well, I got a new slip. Are you two really laughing at me the second I turn on the Right. But now people laugh at you when you got a camera and it's like Tommy has not seen the snowmobile yet and I've intentionally not shown him. What do you think about me buying all these sleds, Dad? <laughs> I ended up picking up one of Levi Lavalley's race sleds here, guys. We'll show you some more of it when we get pulled out. Show you a couple little rips of it. But wanted to get a quick little look at her here right as we're picking her up. First reaction. It's covered. Oh, I didn't know. There she be. Oh yeah, long track mod. What do you think about that? Right. Oh. That's supposed to be there. Right. What do you think? Sweet. Pretty, pretty, like pretty sweet sled, huh? I like it. I like it a lot. So we're still trying to figure out where this sled was actually used. Now, here's the biggest thing. If you guys come over here, there is additional fasteners. This sled is supposed to have 121 inch track. This has been completely modified and fasteners have been put in, but here is the giveaway. These fasteners are underneath the team wrap. It looks like this was like a prototype setup of trying to try out the newer longer track setup again in 2014 they moved to the 128 inch track hey you like them skis don't you i do right there I think they're gonna work yeah they're pretty wide yeah, they're really wide signature series <laughs> levi lavalley skis the track mod we do have studs it is studded so this sled was actually a mod a 600 mod sled on twin pipes which again either puts us in the pro open or a freestyle sled but what makes me think that this was a race sled is obviously being branded with the amsoil snowcross racing stickers but i'm about to chase down levi la valley at heydays biggest thing that i noticed is when i found all of these sleds with this wrap on there the 2013s this fxr is where the oakley is so this i think dates this to be a later sled so how many more sleds do i gotta buy before you switch from uh, articat to polaris you know five so yeah, guys, we're gonna get this thing started up. We're gonna get gassed up. I have to mix up some gas. We're gonna go rip up some ditches. Cool thing about what we're gonna be doing today is we are not in the same place that you guys always see us riding. This is gonna be the ditches that I grew up riding. Uh, 16, 15, 14, all the way down to 12 years old when I was riding my own sleds, even riding on my dad's snowmobile when I was younger. So we're gonna get everything set up, get on the move. I'm gonna actually strap a GoPro to either one of your two helmets. Probably strap it to Kirsten's because it's a brand new helmet.
girlfriend with, so she's just brand new to riding. Oh, okay. I'm and like, fuck yeah, finally somebody to ride with. Yeah, yeah, you're welcome to join the line. Just know it's going to be a little slow back there. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> What'd you do? I'm gonna actually strap a GoPro to either one of your two helmets. Probably strap it to Kirsten's. <laughs> I'm fine. I think we're gonna break my shit. Push back the hood again, but she's flooded out and we're just stuck in this ravine here. Yeah, that's deep right there. Oh, we gotta get this thing started somehow here. Don't even try to go even a little bit off the road. I don't think I even... Just coming up these angles, don't go the long way like these tracks are. Come at the bottom and go straight up them. Okay.
right car. Right one. Mine's out too. I know, I've seen that. Everything's going wrong. Everything. Too hot. That's oh, good gear. You that? Yeah, you got, got yeah, vents there. I think there's some vents in this too. I could be mistaken, oh, but no, you, there are. Yeah. It's nice. That's all I say. Yeah, it's good gear for sure. Well, guys, first rip on the Lavalley sled was amazing. I mean, uh, let's check the damage. I mean, the front of this sled was pristine before she got on there. Pristine. Oh. Now well, it's just a little bit pushed back. Looks like it got pushed down. We are definitely gonna have to do some zip tie-in, some drill in. We'll get her back to going. I mean, big thing is she was all right. Had a good day ripping. Tommy blasts out a hilarious story on the way. I don't know if it's hilarious, but it's definitely ironic. So you're sitting at home at 7.30 p.m. Chilling, and I uh, got a call from State Patrol from the crossfire before the F7. Uh, in the ditch, track off, destroyed, crashed, the whole works. We're back in the projections for five to nine more inches here. We're gonna see what we actually get. There's gonna be some ice accumulation coming as well in this. You won't hear no complaints coming from me, that's for sure. So I'm just gonna get these sleds covered up here. Obviously it did already snow a little bit before I was able to get back home here. My intent was to kind of go through what the damage is on this thing, but after looking at it, it's just basically the exact same damage that happened when I hit the pole. She literally seemed to damage the exact same part of the sled. So although it's tedious to get bent back pretty close, it's really not that hard. It's a couple hours in the garage kind of bending and certainly could have been a lot worse. Now, some of you are probably thinking, man, you really just threw her right in the lion's den there. You put her on a 600 race sled in the bumpiest ditches, most beaten ditches. For one, she does have experience, but it just is a decade ago. For two, I didn't know those ditches were gonna be that beat and that rugged. I mean, they had just gotten rain about two days prior to us showing up. We were just over there and looked at the ditches and they didn't look that bad. Two, three days later, they were a completely different story. The Pro X is cursed. Second time I ever rode it, it ends up in a pole. Second time she ever rides it, it ends up in a culvert. Damages the same exact part. Now I didn't show a lot of her footage either. A lot of the reason that I put a camera on her helmet was so her and I can watch back the footage and I can kind of correct her and give her tricks and tips on how to handle things better. With that said, crashing the Pro X was not in the video agenda here. We were supposed to be going over the LaValle sled. Really show you guys what my plans are with it and kind of go over what I want to do with it. We'll save that information for future videos as we start getting moving forward here. We got Cody coming back out in a couple days, hopefully, and we're gonna do some more ripping on the IQRs. Of course, getting the 440 IQR back and doing some ripping on that for first ride. First actual ditch banging ride on my own IQR though, and my goodness, I'm never ever turning back to an older sled. At least not for my primary. Sorry, Pro X, but you're a great sled. You just ain't that good. So I'm gonna get the Pro X wiped down, covered up, uh, just kind of prepare for the rest of the snow coming our way. Of course, guys, I won't hold you here any longer. Video's getting a little long. Keep in mind, though, we got a lot more riding to happen here. With that said, guys, if you do enjoy the channel, subscribe to it. As always, keep it tuned for the next one.